Good evening and welcome to the annual University of Salford presidential election debate brought to you by Keys TV. I'm Mairead Cleary. Tonight, four candidates who have different views on the future of our students' union are fighting for our votes in order to become your next president. Today we'll stay mainly dry with the odd outbreak of rain, cloudy and cool with highs of 2 degrees and a strong westerly wind. So let me cast your mind all the way back to January of this year. We were still singing to Ed Sheeran's Perfect, we thought Krispy Kremes could only be found in America and the words Jack and Danny meant absolutely nothing to us. Salford City Council have highlighted the importance of donating to the charity A Bed Every Night. It aims to reduce rough sleeping in Greater Manchester and allow people to donate an amount of their choice. A £3 donation provides an evening meal in a shelter, £10 goes towards bedding and toiletries, while £30 helps pay for an evening meal and a bed for the night. The living conditions from centre to centre vary a lot. One thing we do know for sure though is that asylum seekers are five times more likely to experience mental health difficulties. As well as that, children are being born and raised in these institutions and the effect of which is still unknown. Now you can follow tonight's commentary and discussion of tonight's debate online using the hashtag SUPED2019. Join the debate by tweeting your comments and your questions by using this hashtag and we'll show them throughout the programme. And I'm sure they must be used to these world-class projects. Um, have you received a good reception in the hospital and the nurses? Have they all welcomed the idea? Because it is, it's very innovative. It is. The nurses and doctors uh, welcome anything that saves time. Okay, newsflash, making legislation in Ireland is really, really hard. Those of you participating in the Salford Keys 5K run later today are in luck, as this afternoon and this evening will see much brighter and drier conditions, with highs of 7 degrees. That's this, an extra £6 a day sometimes for parking. So other kind of fees like printing and things like that, should that be included as free? Because you pay such a big fee every year to study here, should those services be free to a student? Last year, the university produced an estimated 800 tonnes of waste and the estates team want to reduce this by eradicating one-use plastics from the campus. Well, Aunt San Suu Kyi was once hailed as the Mandela of Asia. She was an icon of democracy and a symbol of non-violence protest. And not, not be there. But can I ask, you obviously feel very strongly about yeah. this, but why aren't the um, all sabbatical officers' expenses, why aren't they published? Um, I don't know. Personally, I don't know why. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, do what you want. Thanks a million. Tweet me, actually. Why not? Very clearly seven. Sound. They've done a fantastic job this evening and that is all from us here at Keys TV, coming to you live from Media City UK. Well, that is all from us today. To keep up with the latest Salford stories, be sure to check out our website, salfordnow.co.uk. Is it recording now? I don't know. Yeah.